Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So I think I found a pretty good spot where we can go and uh, test my 1800 watt flashlight here. I also played around with the camera settings a little bit since the last video, so I think it will be much better this time. So we can see uh, how bright this really is. Because last time the auto exposure of the camera kind of messed things up a little bit. So this time I set it to a manual and I got all the settings correct, I think. Anyway, just to recap before we go outside, it has 18 100 watt LEDs on the front here. And most of them have the focusing lenses to tighten up the beam a little bit. It's powered from 12 cells of uh, lithium polymer batteries. That gives a nominal voltage of 44.4 volts or 5.2 amp hours or 230 watt hours, which will last about 10 minutes, maybe 12 if you're lucky. So let's go outside and take another shot of this, and I hope you like it. So here I'm just walking with a, what would be considered a pretty bright uh, pocket flashlight. As you can see, it lights up a bit in front of me, and uh, I'm definitely able to see with it, but of course it's not as bright as the 1800 watt, which will be turned on now. As you can see, it really lights up and I'm able to see the trees out in the distance very clearly, actually. And as you can see, you probably shouldn't use it on roads and stuff like that. <laughs> It's funny how your breath and the moisture in the air shows up in the light. It wasn't foggy or anything, and driving in the car we couldn't see the moisture in the air. Perhaps it was a bit humid from the rain yesterday, but you couldn't see it without the flashlight. So this bit here is just reused from the original footage. So this is a very flat area and uh, here I'm about 100 meters from the flashlight. And you can see it just lights up everything. You can't really see how far it is because everything is flat. That's why I went to the other place, but I thought I would include it anyway. And here I'm about 200 meters away, I think. And there you can see the light is starting to fade a little bit, but you can still see everything.
So that was it. I think this gave a better idea of how bright this really is and uh, an idea of the range that it got. Some of the shots were a little overexposed close up to the camera, but I think the trees and other objects far out in the distance were more like what they look like in real life in this video. So I hope you liked it and if you did please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't seen the previous test video of this flashlight I explain a little bit more about it and uh, you can also see the original footage. I will put the link at the, the end of the video here. So thanks for watching this one and I will see you.